Hi, I'm Sammy O'Brien alongside Zach Bigley here for the Quakes post-game show. And the Quakes take home an exciting 5-3 victory in front of a sellout crowd here at Lone Mart Field. The Quakes end up sweeping Lake Elsinore Storm in a three-game series, and they ride a four-game win streak into Easter Sunday. Now, Walker Bueller getting the start on the mound for the Quakes. Three shutout innings, eight consecutive strikeouts. Were we expecting this so soon? Man, just the second start of the season, I don't know if necessarily we were expecting this this soon, but this is a guy who has an incredible pedigree. Two-time College World Series appearance, first round pick, coming off Tommy John surgery, the arm looks electric, all four pitches were working tonight. This guy is a stud and we definitely saw it here tonight. The rest of the pitching staff able to put together 20 strikeouts. That's a record for the Quakes franchise history. I spoke with part of those eight strikeouts, Walker Bueller, after the game. Walker, three scoreless innings pitched, eight consecutive strikeouts at one point in the night. How does this one feel after all the recovery process you've been through? Uh, it's pretty cool. Um, you know, the first one was fun, and, you know, I felt like I kind of had everything going tonight. So, uh, you know, a lot of our guys did. West punched the last six, and uh, it's just one of those nights, and, and it's fun to be a part of. You've only pitched less than 20 innings since you've been drafted two years ago. You were hitting 99 a couple of times up there on the radar gun. After Tommy John's surgery, that recovery process, this one's got to feel pretty special. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, you know, my junior year was, was kind of a struggle and, and got through it somehow and, and got lucky to, to be with an organization that knows how to rehab guys and, and gave me everything I could have possibly needed um, for, for 14 months. And um, yeah, you know, to be a part of the team at the end of last year and, and win a championship and then be on a team as talented as this is, uh, it's pretty special. Your name, obviously, Walker Bueller. Your Twitter handle, Bueller's Day Off. At yep. some point, you had to have come to terms with the fact that you were going to get called Bueller, Bueller, or Ferris, whatever. Yeah. When did you finally come to terms with it and embrace it? Uh, well, I kind of got that every first day of school, to be honest with you, basically my whole life. And I didn't really know what it was for a long time. Um, then saw the movie. And, and I think that's the only Twitter handle I've ever had. I think that was the first and only. So that's about it. You like the movie? Yeah, it's pretty solid. Cool. All right, congrats. Bats were able to light up once again with some timely hitting, but what it really came down to, Zach, was the pitching. Yeah, absolutely. 20 strikeouts, that's a new record. I mean, anytime you set a franchise record, you did something right. This time on the pitching side of things, just came too shy of the California League record of 22 strikeouts in one game. But in the back end, Wes Helsebeck, lefty, the only lefty in the bullpen, really impressive with six strikeouts in the seven batter's face. This is a, an incredibly deep bullpen starting staff, the pitching staff has just been unbelievable this season. And the offense backing that up with some timely hitting. The Quakes will ride this four game win streak off day tomorrow and then they'll go to Lancaster on Monday for a 635 start.